Hi, hello, how you doing? My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mari. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking to you about the vegetarian. I'm going to start reading it right now. It is 8 o'clock. So we will be discussing our way through it. And I've also been asked to do some research about it. And I wanted you to come with me because I feel like it's a very interesting topic. And it is a very well-known book in the booktube community. And also I feel like academically, it's a very interesting book to talk about. I will be discussing the different essays that have been written about it and more of like the literary theory side of things. It is definitely a different type of video because obviously I studied literature, if you didn't know. And so when I read, I sometimes do look at it from a literary theory standpoint. And it's very interesting to look at the critical analysis that some other people have made, academic articles, and just overall looking at how a narrative or how the plot, how a story in particular can evoke so many different standpoints and so many different ideas, especially one that is a little bit not controversial, but that has been deemed as very harsh and a little bit hard to swallow in terms of its content warnings. So obviously, if you want to read it and then come back, you're welcome to. I will try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. I am really, really excited to get to this book. I will start reading now. This is Mariana from the future clarifying what this will book is about because I start talking about the themes and I don't explain what it is about. So this book is divided into three sections where we follow different perspectives surrounding a woman who becomes vegetarian. So that's why the title vegetarian. And this woman stops eating meat completely because of a dream she had. And we follow her husband, her brother-in-law and her sister. And we see the repercussions of her decision in Korean culture, how it impacts her relationships with others, and how other people see her. So, I'm almost finished reading The Vegetarian. I have about 50 pages left. And as you can see, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see these, these are my little tabs. So what I do for my tabs, in case anybody's interested, I buy these bigger ones, the ones that come like this, and I cut them into little strips i put them in this like little i don't know how you would call it but this i made myself that's how i tap my books i will do a special video later on on how do i annotate my books but in this case i obviously was annotating it for a specific purpose thinking about different themes that this book has to offer and is exploring in the first article i read for the research that I am participating on. The first one talks about debt and payback in the vegetarian and equates some of the themes in this novel to how capitalistic society has kept us in a game of chairs. When you're doing well and you are participating in the system, you sit in, in one chair, but you leave other people out and there's always someone who is outside of this capitalistic system. In this case, in The Vegetarian, most of the characters participate in the society and they all hold a space within the system. But our protagonist, by becoming or creating this met metamorphosis into a plant or with this imagery of vegetation she is going against the system because she is creating her own symbolic world and her own symbolic representation so that's pretty much what this article is talking about and i thought it was really interesting and in addition it talks about her not eating meat as purging and payback to the system and not wanting to be in debt to this particular system. That's our first little article that talks about the novel and then I'm gonna be reading another one that goes more into the eco-criticism side of the novel which is apparent. Obviously the novel talks about different aspects of Korean culture such as patriarchal standards and the love of meat but that's just in the surface what this novel does is that it goes into these themes in a very concise way because it's a very short novel but it explores them in less of a superficial just outright statement of this is right this is wrong since we get the perspectives of different characters and not our main character it gives voices to other people and it allows her own perspective our protagonist young he's perspective to be up to interpretation and it leaves the reader the responsibility of interpreting her journey
so I've been researching for a little while now and I gotta say this is really really interesting so the second essay that talked about plant philosophy kind of went into how the metamorphosis that the protagonist went through is a direct opposition to a patriarchal society because you don't play into the symbolisms of being a human but rather being a plant. According to Aristotle, he saw plants as just simple beings. This essay argues that plants are just as important as humans, they are part of humanity, and they deserve to be treated as such. If the protagonist is becoming a plant, then her humanity shouldn't be erased but rather seen as like a different aspect of her reality or a different aspect of how her body is represented within society. Just really, really, really fun. And then this third essay that I read was mostly just about objectification of women and how our bodies are used for men's pleasure. In order to fit in, we need to fulfill a certain role. And what the vegetarian does is that the protagonist directly goes against that role by doing different little things. At the beginning of the novel, we are told she is not conventionally attractive. And in Korea, plastic surgery is a big thing, so going against that is a direct opposition with her own body and taking control of her own choices in her body. And then the second aspect is that she doesn't wear a bra, and that's like an important aspect of her own identity. She doesn't feel comfortable wearing a bra, so she doesn't, and that's also taking control of her own choices. And then obviously becoming a vegetarian is an important choice that she makes which kind of brings the whole novel into these different discussions and how she clashes against other people such as her family or her husband. That choice changes absolutely everything about how people see her and how she relates to others. And the reason why she becomes a vegetarian is because of a dream. So people not even, they don't even understand if it's for ethical reasons, but she explains it as something within her, this monster that is expressing itself inside of her. Obviously, how can you stop this monster from coming out is by, in her case, becoming a vegetarian and taking control, again, of her own choices. So, very interesting. Right now, I am reading about how de-escalating violence or deconstructing violence, rather, is an important part of vegan activism or vegetarianism. So we have different ideas within this novel and different articles that talk about different things. And I will close off the video later on by expressing my final thoughts about this book, about how I how I felt about it, and maybe bring my own critical analysis. I hope you liked this portion of the video where I talked about the different perspectives that some academics take when discussing this book. I just want to go back to my own thoughts and ideas if you want to listen. As I told you, I finished reading Vegetarian last night, and I also finished doing some research about it for one of my professors. What I think is interesting about these types of discussions that I didn't really go in depth into any of them is how every article can focus on one specific thing about the novel and then bring out a whole discussion about it. So when I am expressing these different viewpoints to you, I am not going in depth about every single article because you would need to read it in order to fully fully grasp what the author is trying to say and I don't want to bring any quote out of context to interpret it in my own way because obviously that would be my own interpretation. I mean, if, if it's something that would interest you to like discuss articles in depth, then sure. But in this case, I just kind of wanted to go into my own personal thoughts about The Vegetarian. I thought it was a very difficult novel to read. I would definitely say that people need to check out the trigger warnings before they read it, but I think it's an also a very important novel. I've read a couple of novels written by Asian authors. I wouldn't say I am a connoisseur of these types of novels, but I will say that this novel in particular exposed a lot of different themes that I've seen in other books, but it did it in a way that was very concise. It was a very short novel, but it was thought-provoking and shocking at times. I love that it was written by a woman but told from a man's perspective and then we also have the final chapter which kind of closes off the story from the sister's perspective. So we get that side of how people perceive this woman who is going through a kind of transformation. I wouldn't say I necessarily loved the novel in itself but I think the way it was written and the prose showed that you can write a simple novel but with a lot of depth 
to it. There were a lot of descriptions that just kind of left me dumbfounded. And for example, if I were to really go into it, every sticky note has a different meaning for what I was thinking when reading it. But I dogged ear one page specifically, which is the description of her as almost like a plant or a flower. Whether human, animal, or plant, she could not be called a person. But then she wasn't exactly some feral creature either, more like a mysterious being with qualities of both. And I really like that. I really love books that play with transformation and metamorphosis. So obviously that's why Night Bitch was one of my favorite books last year and why I enjoyed reading the original Metamorphosis by Kafka. And I would definitely say that if it sounds interesting to you, I would recommend reading it. Obviously keeping in mind what I have discussed about the difficult topics that the novel encompasses. I thought it was a very interesting reading experience. I liked that you could take out themes from eco-criticism, feminist theory, anti-capitalistic ideas, and just an overall study of plant philosophy and whether we can coexist with each other in a way that we don't see each other as either superior or better than everything that surrounds us plants being a very important part of our ecosystem so i kind of wanted to do this video just discussing this specific text and also kind of putting out there that this is something i really like i really like doing research about these things so if it's something that interests you i would love to hear it and i hope you are having an amazing day i hope you're feeling great i hope your week goes really well and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!